Next, let's have a look at the closure property on the set of rational numbers. Recall what rational numbers are. Those numbers which can be written in the form of p divided by q where both p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 are called rational numbers. Now students consider two rational numbers 3 divided by 8 and minus 5 divided by 7. Let us add these rational numbers. So what is 3 divided by 8 plus minus 5 divided by 7? Here the denominators of both the rational numbers are different. So to add these rational numbers, we have to make the denominator same. Here the denominators are 8 and 7. Now to make them same, multiply both numerator and denominator by 7 in 3 by 8 and 8 in minus 5 by 7. That is 3 into 7 divided by 8 into 7 plus minus 5 into 8 divided by 7 into 8 is equal to 21 divided by 56 plus minus 40 divided by 56 which is equal to 21 plus minus 40 divided by 56. Here adding numerators directly that is adding 21 with minus 40 we get minus 90. Thus we get 3 divided by 8 plus minus 5 divided by 7 is equal to minus 19 divided by 56 which is again a rational number. From this we can say that sum of two rational numbers is again a rational number. So in general for any two rational numbers a and b, a plus b is also a rational number. Thus we get rational numbers are closed under addition. Now let us take minus 5 divided by 7 and 2 divided by 3. Tell me what is minus 5 divided by 7 minus 2 divided by 3. Here also to solve this we need to make the denominator same. So multiply both numerator and denominator by 3 in minus 5 divided by 7 and 7 in 2 divided by 3. So we get minus 5 into 3 divided by 7 into 3 minus 2 into 7 divided by 3 into 7. Upon multiplying we get minus 15 divided by 21 minus 14 divided by 21 which is equal to minus 15 minus 14 divided by 21 which we get minus of 15 plus 14 divided by 21 which is equal to minus 29 divided by 21 which is a rational number. So in general for any two rational numbers a and b, a minus b is also a rational number. Thus rational numbers are closed under subtraction. Next let's take two more rational numbers minus 2 divided by 3 and 4 divided by 5. Now students can you tell me what is minus 2 divided by 3 into 4 divided by 5. So how do you multiply two rational numbers? We know that if a by b and c by d are two rational numbers then a by b into c by d is equal to a into c divided by b into d. So here we get minus 2 into 4 divided by 3 into 5 which is equal to minus 8 divided by 15 which is a rational number. So in general we can say that for any two rational numbers a and b, a into b is also a rational number. So we can say that rational numbers are closed under multiplication. Next let's take two more rational numbers minus 5 divided by 3 and 2 divided by 5. So students can you tell me what is minus 5 by 3 divided by 2 by 5. We know that for any two rational numbers a by b and c by d, a by b divided by c by d is equal to a by b into d by c. So we get minus 5 divided by 3 into 5 divided by 2 that is equal to minus 5 into 5 divided by 3 into 2 which is equal to minus 25 divided by 6 
which is a rational number. By this, can you say that the set of rational numbers is closed under division? No, because for any rational number a, a divided by 0 is not defined. Hence, we can say that rational numbers are not closed under division. However, if we exclude 0, the collection of all other rational numbers are closed under division. Now, let us form a table using these results. First one is for rational numbers. Students, can you tell me whether rational numbers are closed under addition? Yes, very good. Rational numbers are closed under addition. Rational numbers are closed under subtraction and multiplication but not closed under division. Next one is for integers. Students, can you tell me whether integers are closed under addition? Yes, very good. Integers are closed under addition. Integers are closed under subtraction and multiplication but not closed under division. Next, we have whole numbers. Can you tell me whether whole numbers are closed under addition? Yes, very good. Whole numbers are closed under addition. Whole numbers are closed under multiplication but not closed under subtraction and division. Next, we have natural numbers. Students, can you tell me whether natural numbers are closed under addition? Yes, very good. Natural numbers are closed under addition. Natural numbers are also closed under multiplication but not closed under subtraction and division.